Corps Sergeant Major Brian Battaglia, the senior enlisted advisor to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, recently took a tour through military installations across the Midwest, stopping in Missouri to meet with enlisted guardsmen. His first stop was Ike Skelton Training Site, headquarters of the Missouri National Guard. He met with senior enlisted leaders, then hosted a town hall meeting in an effort to gauge issues that service members may be dealing with, as well as offer counsel and guidance to issues facing junior enlisted guardsmen moving forward in their careers. It's always good to hear the perspective from the number one non-commissioned officer in the entire Department of Defense. Got great feedback from that. It was an honor for him to be here. I want to thank Sergeant Major Battaglia for, for taking the time to come to Missouri uh, and being so inclusive that he brought Army, Air, Guard, and, and Active, and even Reserve all in the same vehicle at the same time, moving throughout the training sites to establish a relationship that I think will carry on well past my retirement. After his visit at Ike Skelton training site, Sergeant Major Battaglia flew to Whiteman Air Force Base to meet with Air Guardsmen of the 131st Bomb Wing and the 139th Airlift Wing. While at Whiteman, Sergeant Major Battaglia held a similar town hall meeting and observed Whiteman's total force integration, where Air National Guardsmen and active duty personnel come together to work and train on the maintenance and repair of the B-2 bomber. So he came out to see the Air National Guard and the Army National Guard of Missouri. He also wanted to see the active duty installations and really check and see that the families and the airmen and the soldiers were being taken care of. And that was his overall objective. Be able to take him out and actually meet from the E3s, the E4s and E5s out there to see the actual SEAC, uh, to be able to brief them on the mission they actually do and to be coined by him just makes their day and sometimes it makes their career. It shows, especially our lowest airmen that we met, is that the highest ranking enlisted member of the armed forces truly cares. Wrapping up his visit at Whiteman Air Force Base, Sergeant Major Battaglia traveled first to Fort Leonard Wood, where he met with active duty personnel, then to Springfield, Missouri, where he spent time with guardsmen of the 1107th Theater Aviation Group, observing the importance of aviation assets to not only the state of Missouri, but to the entire Midwest region as a whole. Every stop that I've made through a command visit, there's been some sort of interaction with, uh, with the National Guard, both air and army side. What was impressive about the Missouri National Guard is their consistent rating with readiness. Holding second in, in the nation is no easy feat. You really got to have an operational focus to be trained, educated, molded, developed, poised, postured to deploy in quick form. That could be something of a natural disaster within the continental United States or OCONUS and doing the nation's bidding in far off lands. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, my visit here. I wish it could have been longer. I'll certainly be taking some great takeaways to the chairman and other leaders in D.C. that um, Missouri National Guard, General Danner's team, Command Sergeant Major and the Chief's team really have it together. From Missouri, Sergeant Major Battaglia will continue his tour of other states before returning to his post in Washington, D.C. Reporting for the Missouri National Guard, I'm Army Sergeant Alex Flynn.